been seeing a lot of miles. I feel like I need glasses right now. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, Whole yeah. new. No, 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 this is, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Top button, too. What's the top button? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I turned yeah. 30 a little while ago. So I feel very like everything has the, a oh, new apron, a collared shirt, glasses, a few well, extra, a few extra white hairs. I'm a whole new guy. We're releasing this in 2020. New Year, new Andy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are making a salmon dish from our Feel Good Food Plan. Uh, we've been doing the Feel Good Food Plan now for three years, uh, myself and Chris Morocco. This dish ended up becoming kind of my favorite dish that uh, I developed this year. And it's a salmon dish, it's kind of a one skillet salmon dish with uh, greens. I'm using Swiss chard today, but you could use really kind of whatever hearty greens you like. Uh, and then uh, it all gets kind of slowly roasted in the oven. And then what goes on top is this crispy, crunchy, definitely quite spicy topping of coconut and chili uh, and garlic. It's like a coconut chili garlic crisp, that's what it is. First off, we're gonna prep the greens. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove the greens off. We are gonna be using uh, the stems, the stalks. Swiss chard stems are really delicious. I actually think I like them a little bit more than the leaves themselves. Okay, so we have our greens. I'm just going to you can coarse each of them. I'm just gonna tear them into like a little bit bigger than my palm. Torn is very, is the way to go. It's like, I don't really care. I'm just gonna tear them, but I really do care. I'm gonna chop, oop, I'm gonna, oop. Sorry. It's very long. I'm gonna chop the Swiss chard stocks. There we go, it's been a minute. <laughs> Okay, so we have our Swiss chard stalks. I'm gonna take the shallot, just a medium shallot, trim the little hairs at the end, peel that. So the person behind me who's speaking to Chris Morocco is Liesl Davis. She's our recipe editor. She is very much loved in, in I mean, all of BA, but, uh, very much in the test kitchen. And she's the one who edits our recipes for print, um, and everybody in the test kitchen really loves her, that's all. And I just thought you guys should know who she is. We got some shallots here. I am just gonna cut these into thin rounds. Um, these are gonna go with the stalks. And then I have a big piece of ginger here. I'm just going to thinly slice them lengthwise. I like eating ginger just kind of on its own. Like it'll saute and soften the kind of heat from the ginger will soften from the fat of the salmon and, and the olive oil that's going in. But um, no need to peel this time around. I just kind of give it a little trim here and then We have our kind of aromatics, the ginger and shallots that are gonna cook with the Swiss chard stocks. Uh, I am going to heat, let's say, about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let's go over here. We're gonna go medium high. I'm gonna just get my, my other things. I just brought back the, the shallots, the ginger, uh, and the Swiss chard stems that have been finely chopped. The oil is glossy, slides around the skillet. We could just dump this all at once. And we're gonna let this go. And what we're going for is really just softening the Swiss chard stems and the shallots. We're not looking to get uh, any color on them. Okay, so our shallots are pretty soft. I'm gonna add a bit of salt to this. So I'm gonna add the greens in batches Otherwise, they're just gonna crowd the pan a little too much. So as soon as I see the Swiss chard greens begin to wilt, they don't need to completely wilt, just like halfway, I'll add the rest. I'm just adding the remaining greens. Okay, I'm gonna remove this off heat. I will say that the chard is not completely tender yet, but it's gonna continue cooking in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a stir 
create a bed over here. And then what we have here is a center cut, really beautiful piece of salmon. And I just kind of take this skin on and I just lay it flat like this, clean hand. Still clean hand, still clean hand. And then season the salmon with salt. You could have one big piece like this, or you could have fillets, uh, like four fillets, however many, many people you're cooking for. But I just kind of do one big piece, and then I kind of just like break it up in big shards or pieces for individual people. I just find it a little bit easier, but it's, totally up to you. It's not comfortable at all, which okay. is why. So we have our salmon uh, on our bed of greens. I am just going to mix in half a teaspoon of ground turmeric into two tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. This is going to stain the fish. It's gonna bring that kind of uh, sweet kind of uh, nuttiness from the turmeric uh, to the whole dish, to the salmon uh, and to the greens. You'll see that beautiful color, that golden hue, that really deep golden hue. And then uh, I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it over the fish like this and then give a little love to the greens. And then I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. 300 degrees, 25 to 30 minutes. Chilies and coconut are definitely a pairing that's classic. Okay, so next I'm gonna be making the coconut chili crisp. This, I will say, like even if you don't like fish, if you don't like salmon, this condiment is just so downright addictive and I would use it on a uh, soup, stew. It adds this kind of sweet, crunchy, um, really spicy, garlicky topping to whatever it hits and touches. So first off, I'm just going to peel three cloves of garlic. Sometimes when the garlic's really good, you want the paper will adhere to the cloves really well, but that's okay. You want garlic to be almost like sticky. Like if your finger's a little sticky after you've peeled garlic, that's a good, that's a good sign. What I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna use my trusty mandolin. I'm just gonna go crosswise. I'm gonna take uh, a serrano chili. You could use jalapeno, you could use a red chili. It really doesn't matter. I think obviously it depends on your um, heat tolerance. I'm gonna use actually half of this and go into kind of thin rounds. The one thing that I always look out for any fresh chili is that the seeds should be kind of off-white. If they are uh, brown, then I know that, one, they're probably gonna be a little less spicy. The chili is old, for that matter, so I don't even wanna use it. Um, and it will probably have like a bitter taste to it, the seed and a bit of the flesh. Uh, I'll try a little bit of this. But this looks like a good, good chili to me. It's like the green is bright, and I actually just let this kiss my tongue, and it's already very hot. So this is probably going to be a it's probably gonna be a pretty hot chili crisp. We have our garlic, we have our chili, and we have coconut. So over here, we're using unsweetened coconut flakes. I like the coconut flakes because they're big. They're kind of graphic-y pieces. Uh, they're visually, they're really nice on top of the fish, uh, and they toast up nicely. But you could also use shredded coconut. You could use grated coconut. Uh, just make sure that it's unsweetened. You don't want uh, additional sugar on, uh, in the coconut chili crisp. You just want the kind of natural sweetness from the coconut itself. Okay, I'm gonna take my skillet, my coconut, garlic, chili, some oil some salt. You're gonna use all that salt? All of it. You need uh, two cups worth of salt. <laughs> this is a Molly Bowles recipe. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil, medium heat on this, just because medium high, it can ha everything can happen a little bit too quickly. And then everything kind of just happens all at once. I'm gonna add the garlic, chilies, and coconut to the pan once the oil is a little bit hot and easily slides around the skillet. Okay, that feels hot enough. It's okay if it doesn't sizzle right away. If anything, when you're making like garlic chips, it's better to kind of start the oil where it's not too, too hot. So right away you smell the fiery heat from the chilies, garlicky and that kind of sweet aroma from the coconut. This is not something you want to walk away from. You definitely want to be continuing to stir 
and you can see the garlic and the coconuts are already getting golden brown. Okay. I'm going to take this off heat. I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt. Yum. Okay. Uh, let's check on our salmon. Oh, that feels pretty so good. Okay, so our salmon, you see how the greens have darkened and they've wilted completely. The ginger has almost cupped up, like shriveled a little bit. The salmon, let's see. I mean, I'll do with the cake tester. I kind of go in the thickest part. This is like a very restaurant-y, chef -y thing. Let it go for a few seconds, five seconds. I just let it touch my lip. It should be definitely warm to the touch. Not necessarily very, very hot, hot where I take the cake tester away from my lips, then it's probably overdone. The second indication is that I would just kind of look to see if it flakes easily, and it definitely does. So I'm gonna go from there, I'm gonna plate. I'm gonna try to go for the greens first. And I mean, this would be delicious just like this. But I like the kind of crunchy topping that is the coconut chili crisp. Maybe a pop of green from the chilies. You also get a, this beautifully like the turmeric stained oil. We'll go a little bit there. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. We have our lovely dish of salmon and greens. I'm gonna give this a try. See, it flakes so easily. The salmon's very kind of subtle. You still, what? What? On our work if you, if Oh yeah. I don't know. I find salmon to be, um, very strong in flavor uh, compared to like a white fish. So uh, because of like the amount of fat it has, I, I don't necessarily do too much to the salmon and that's why like the turmeric is still very kind of subtle and allows the salmon flavor to come through. And then that turmeric oil kind of stains the greens and the greens they kind of get even more tender. tender has have a little has a little bit of bite to them. I'm gonna try one of these ginger pieces. You have to try it. It still has that kind of spice, that heat that ginger has, but it's a little more mellow because of the fat from the olive oil and the fat from the salmon. This is just one of the 10 recipes for the Feel Good Food Plan. Check it out in our January February issue or online and make it and let me know your thoughts. Rap is looking real like GQ over here. Whoa. Show socks. Come on, guys. It's cold.